Okay, this is the second game in our virtual tournament. First game we took a loss. So this is all preparation for this weekend's tournament. So I'll just develop the knight out, supporting the pawn here. Just gauging what kind of performance I can potentially expect to um, <laughs> be displaying this weekend. Just develop the knight attacking the pawn, but making space for castling as we do. Oh, this is new. They've never done this before. Okay, that means I'm into something a little bit special. So I'm going to grab. What are they trying to do? Something here, maybe? I don't know. It's unusual territory for me now. <laughs> As always, yes, you can look at the ratings on here, but that don't mean squat unless they actually perform that way so I'm actually putting the pressure onto the bishop here with a smaller piece still have pressure with this piece here there could be some magical system that they're working that is setting me up so never ever ever doubt just because you see a weird opening thinking yeah you're actually winning I am not I am definitely thinking what are they, is there any quick and dirty tactics? If there isn't, then yes, you ca you have to try and take advantage of the loopholes that they're creating. But in the initial outset, I'm looking and I'm saying, well, I don't really know what this is. It looks a little bit crazy and manic. So I'm going to develop and hopefully get castled as well. So doing this type of virtual tournament thing prior to my tournament, this is the type of thing I, I used to do before um, the whole lockdown situation. And it was there or thereabouts almost kind of accurate, you know, with the 50-50 type thing or less than 50-50. So I always went into the tournaments being realistic about what I potentially can do in those tournaments. Uh, I did expect that and I did probably expect my bishop to come here to defend. I don't know what weight that's got on anything. But yeah, it, it was a kind of good reflection of what potentially could happen going forward. I think quite a lot of them though, most of them were, I did lose the online versions but then I came in at 50-50 or slightly above 50-50 when I actually performed uh, for real. So those were more pleasing ones. 
Uh, the worst ones were when you were I was winning online and then I went to play over the board and then I was not faring as good as I did online. So I think I prefer to lose online and then actually win or gain advantages in the actual over the board real games. But it is a good practice if you're playing, you know, if the person's playing uh, true and stuff, it's an interesting reality check on your performance. looking to get the bishop out so I think it's time to castle okay so he's coming for the knight bishop's got defense on there we could attack that bishop bishop's kind of trapped so I'm going to attack the bishop just playing games like this especially you know quirky opening type thing it's being able to spot things like well the bishop's trapped you know th the smallest of details and and it's not showboating it's actually being able to see those things and maybe take advantage of that type of stuff because they are missed in over the board games now the queen's coming attacking our bishop here can defend pushing the pawn can bring the queen into the game a little bit defending that bishop's still going anyway isn't it so I'm going to bring the queen <clears throat> to give my king a little bit of company also giving more support again to the knight as well and as usual more pieces facing towards the king Because that old saying, the hardest game to win is a one game, is really quite true. And I think if you keep your basics as best possible and try not to be too arty and um, showy offy type stuff, then these types of games are good practice for that. Because at the minute, we're winning the game, but it could be an ugly ending the opponent finds something miraculous or upsets our position and it's not as good as what we think our end game is so we've got to practice basics Attacking our bishop, you see that's a nice touch actually, you know, realistic when you look at it, because we've got his bishop here which is, it, it is gone, but I suppose we have a moment where we can challenge their queen with the bishop, we could actually just take the pawn off the ball because we do have support with the knight and be attacking their queen. So if the bishop does take, probably envisage that he's going to take here. Then if we take, then his queen takes our bishop. 
Hmm, see that works out quite nice for them, and obviously we take the bishop back here. But they kind of won a bishop, haven't they? We take. He takes. We take. Takes the bishop. Okay, so we're still up a piece, but it's um really quite clever. Is there a better way of dealing with this situation? Could bring the queen here because then the pawn can't take. But then the queen just takes and then the bishop takes. I suppose that's alright, isn't it? Yeah, the pawn can't take the bishop. We're on their queen. So you'd have to move the queen out, king out of the way. But then we could take the pawn with the queen. I think that's probably the better option, I think, rather than doing that little fancy manoeuvre that they were going to kick in. I think we would have been still a, a bishop up, but it's not the position I really wanted to be in, I don't think. Oh no, he's got the bishop anyway. Oh my, I'm so stupid. He's got the bishop anyway. Oh, crikey sick. Let's take that off here. So we're still up a minor piece. Not the position I wanted, but oh no. Look at this. Coming in with the good stuff now. Um, And he's got our pawn. He's got this knight here. Oh, Shabba. Oh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? I'm losing pawns left, right and centre. Ooh. What did I say? Don't look at the rating and the way they open and stuff. Look how they're coming back. Oh. Let's support here and just uh, resign ourselves to the fact we're losing this here. Can we improve our position? Probably need to get the rooks involved. He might triple up, but he loses a bit of tempo, so maybe the rook's going because he doesn't want to double his pawns here. Yeah, definitely not the position I really wanted because my knight really can't do much. Bishop supporting here. He could even attack the bishop as well, so I'm babysitting pieces. Ooh, very clever. Oh, what am I doing? Steady, steady, steady. Ah, maybe I should have put a bit more calculation in and maybe, maybe we should have just gone for the simple exchange that way. We still would have been a minor piece up. Maybe the position... I'm going to have to look at the evaluation after that and just have a look. What was I saying? The hardest game to win is a one game. So now I'm going to have to take my head out. Oh my gosh, he's attacking the knight. What's that happening? He does block this space here. But I mean, what's really what's really happening there? It's not going anywhere after that. Looks like I'm bringing it back here. Am I giving him power? He's going to own this file with the rooks. That is so key. I think this is a non move because there's nothing else after that. I mean, he can just attack me here. Where do I actually go? Come back here, attack the pawn. Interesting times. Okay, let's do that. That looks like a nice picture. But my bishop doesn't have any protection on. Got to check on the king if he wants to come here and attack it. X ray through to the king, get the rook off the board. That can happen. Or maybe he just comes down here and attacks it. It's taken the pawn. 
could put the check on the king just to give it something to think about but it is then elevating the king down towards the knight uh, if we brought the knight down his rook's just going to come here to defend isn't it I suppose we could push the pawn here to block shoo dearie me I'm not liking the way this has transpired this bishop is a dark square bishop let's come down and attack the pawn not rushing to own the file just yet I think there's we might lose tempo and stuff so let's see if we can take some pieces off time wise doing okay I mean this is fit yeah so they've gone down but we can't push the pawn oh he's got actually come and attacking our pawn <laughs> we thought it was going to defend the pawn didn't we Wow, he's got some fire in his belly as this one, hasn't he? Let's defend. Just keep it basic. This pawn's under attack. This pawn is under attack. This file is not being owned by us. So definitely giving us things to think about. I mean, I think they're slightly higher than a 724 personally. But uh, okay, so if we come and take, or if we take, then we're on this pawn as well. Which one's better? Knight. Rook can come down and defend. So you've got a back rank, I think. Bishop's doing a nice job protecting this square though actually because if we did take the pawn then his rook comes down here. Stuck in this pawn. We can take. Let's take this one first. How do we get out of this? Bishop's going to be blocking there and then come here to block the rook. Then his rook comes down to attack the pawn, push the pawn. Okay, seems a little bit delicate, but it might be doable. Might be. Unless he pushes this pawn down. Ooh, sad times. Oh, he's pushed that pawn instead. Let's put the check on. Oh, do you know what though? Ah, that's another clever... Mind you, I can take that pawn. But I suppose if he... Because if we do go here... He does have the element of pushing this pawn to push this down. He's not telling me he saw that. Do we attack their bishop? Knight's here. Rook comes down. Ah, you see, the rook is wanting to come here. Shall we see if that... I think he's just going to do this thing, isn't he? Rook attacking the pawn, maybe? I don't know. It's feeling very tense now. King's move. Oh, it's coming for the knight. But I suppose we can defend by doing this, but then his bishop takes the pawn. Do we just attack his rook now? We attack his rook, then his bishop pawn drops.
attack the rook, see the rook takes, then we take, then he drops the pawn, so the bishop has to take, and then the rook takes the pawn. Oh dear. So do we push the pawn first? Then his king comes for the knight. put a check on the king okay let's push this pawn first hmm Okay, so the following suit at the minute. So I'm going to just put a check on the king. Got support now from the pawn. King's coming closer in. What am I missing? If the bishop takes, we take. His king takes. No, he's actually doesn't even have to do that. His rook can come and put a check on. I want to avoid all these baby moves, but they're kicking them in. Attack the rook. Bishop takes the pawn. Point. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's attack the rook now. I think they're going to do this. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Rook check on the king. Hide the king. King takes. Chasing the rook around. Oh, they're not doing that. Okay, so they want to link the pawns up. Just take that. Sort of dark square, so his bishop's probably going to defend. So we may as well go here because the bishop's going to defend the pawn. It's currently, this poor rook is a little bit trapped, so he's probably looking for a way to get out of that. that hopefully was a nice position for us now so we can take this pawn off the board at least and look to squish their king with the rook I think he's coming here <clears throat> just to give space for his rook and his rook can take off all the pawns interesting times but we do have a potential squish yes yeah, so he's gone there so I'm going to go here and I think we're one move away from checkmate so if he takes the bishop etc so don't his king can't go here can't go there yeah that was very entertaining for myself that was yeah did, oh, we need to go back and just have a look at that um, continuation, which really didn't look too good. Let's just uh, analysis. Okay. Okay, right, so 
what happened yeah we went for a bit of a queen thing and we said potentially this is what we were potentially wanting to go for but we weren't happy with the position that might have ended up I'm not saying that they would have done this but taking the knight because they're on the queen and then if we take with maybe the bishop or the queen bishop better because we're actually on the rook and then if the queen takes then we take and his bishop is still trapped so if he's going for the bishop then we take the bishop oh we should have done that we should have done that I was oh, dear me I was so boom thinking right yeah okay if we go there even if we take with the queen um, so we're talking about taking with the queen but on looking at it once the position had been played out I should have seen it in the calculation but I was so fuzzy brained about oh well you know are we losing out it would have just been a simple matter of here so it's taking time with the calculation that is the key thing not rushing it um, I'm thinking yes I'm winning the match but how do I win it um, and then you know obviously we made that comment about hardest game to win is a one game so I'll put too I think put too much pressure on myself in this little tiny calculation here it's very simple and straightforward when you look at it now and that's what I want to be doing during the game you know looking at it simply and then just seeing the solution just like that look how easy this looks now it looks so smooth now why can't I do that in the game okay so it's one and one for our virtual uh, competition so we have three more games to play and see how we get on